It's always somewhat cathartic in Minecraft whenever you make a design that you think is going to be really cool and you really, really want to realize it, but then it doesn't work. Welcome back to Triton Craft, everybody. I am Nick. Welcome to the channel. It's so, so wonderful to have you here. Uh, I hope that you enjoy your stay. We are over on our island, which, of course, we were doing a lot of work on in the last episode. And, uh, well, we'll talk about the rail lines and everything in just a moment, because you guys remember that we do have some zombie villagers in there that we've got to cure back. And I actually did get some more as well in this melon box over here. I didn't have any other blocks, and I needed to trap them in here. There's another eight or so of them stuck in here, basically. But... <laughs> I got a bunch more farmers that all do golden carrots because I need more guys that do golden carrots. I honestly don't know what ones these guys do. I don't know what ones did and did not survive. But you can also see that we have pathing going all over the surface of this island here. I chucked in. It is mostly tough. We got a few little path blocks here and there and then some mossy cobble. And every once in a while, you'll see a piece of cobblestone. But I really wanted to stick with the tough for this because I really, really, again, do like that mix. And I built my rail line and I was all about to bring a villager over here, over into a test for one of my little farmer's market stalls. And I just had a big brain. I was like, is this gonna work? Will this thing even work? And uh, well, I guess you guys should just check this out for yourselves. So I'm here in a creative backup of the world. And I mean, Again, I just had this idea. I was like, is this going to work? Because fences aren't full blocks, would the zombies be able to reach through here and figure out what is going to happen? Now, I put this little guy here because I was like, this will stop those uh, stupid little kids from running in there and doing doing their thing. But, I mean, unfortunately, if we just spawn in like a whole bunch of zombies here, you know, then, then you'll see that, I mean, essentially what happens is they can reach the zombies through the walls, through the corners and stuff. The stupid little kids can still jump up on top of here. And if they accidentally get nudged a little bit or something like that, they can actually end up getting nudged through there, which is something that I have already seen as well. But see, there he goes. And he actually just snuck right through that little thing right there and got in there to our villagers. So unfortunately, this design is going to have to get scrapped. It simply will not work. And that, yeah, now he wants in there to get a piece of that guy. This guy, I love this guy, is just in here just sleeping the night away. Like, nope, nothing bad's going to happen to me in here. <sighs> but yeah, so we are back to the drawing board in terms of a design. So I'm not really sure, unfortunately, what to do then. In terms of a design here, I was really, really hoping that this would work, but... I mean, unfortunately, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's just not, it's just not, uh, it's just not feasible. So I'm kind of stalled out on designs for what I want to do for the actual market stalls over here, because I mean, you have to protect Minecraft villagers a lot. Um, in Bedrock Edition, you have to make sure that they have their little bed and their little workstation accessible. So that way they can, they can kind of do their thing and everything and you know i mean i'm gonna have to have solid blocks all the way around and then i'm probably gonna have to do something like i did back in my original base area uh down where my librarians and stuff are i have like little wooden trap doors so it's it's a it's a small enough gap that you know a stupid little kid couldn't even jump in there if they wanted to but you know i've got some of these co copper blocks that are fully oxidized up here i didn't even start converting or trying to oxidize these yet because i want to settle on a final design before we ever end up getting in there. I also had at one point, I threw up a small little little farm here, but then it's going to end up with the same problem. I don't want free roam villagers over here because I honestly need to do a lot of villager trading with them. So I didn't want to leave like a whole bunch of stuff going on over here because then if I did, you know, what am I going to do when the villagers are all like, you know, messed up or whatever? <sighs> Looks like the sun is setting on another beautiful day in Triton Craft. We'll see you guys in the morning. Now we're taking off into the sunrise. And like I said, I really do love the road designs here. I really, really do love the pathing. I think it looks fantastic. And I think it's just what this little kind of podzole island here needs is, is just this little path to break it up. We're probably going to get some slabs, some cobblestone slabs or something like that in here. Maybe some mossy cobble slabs to make this a little bit easier to traverse. And I've also chucked a bunch of crafting tables in all over the place because Lord knows I'm going to need them for the market stalls. So I just started adding them. 
And, you know, I mean, now we just kind of have to figure out what to do. So we're going to end up doing, you know, something where we're just going to have to freeze the villagers in place. And then we're just going to have to kind of decorate the build and, and make it look really, really cool. But while we're busy, while we're out here and about doing all of our stuff, aside from this absurd chest monster I have floating around over on this bridge here, I wanted to show you guys more of the stuff that we've got going on over here with our bees. Now, I did chuck some greenery in over here, and you can tell uh, the start of a mega tree is here. But uh, this is obviously just, you know, kind of a small work in progress. I think what I want to do instead is I want to get the villagers over here. I was going to do Fletchers, I believe, over here. We'll put some target blocks, hay blocks. Maybe we'll make like a makeshift uh, shooting gallery. Stupid Enderman. <laughs> I really, really need to find a behavior pack or something that can disable that in Bedrock Edition. I know it's a vanilla tweak in in vanilla or in uh, Java Edition, but down here, if we head down here, you can see I've done a little bit more terraforming underwater. We added some brown concrete and some coarse dirt down here because I think that looks absolutely spectacular. And if we come and say hello to our honeybees, we now have our second side of honey bottles also up and running at full capacity. And you can see in here, I went ham with the honey blocks, with the honeycomb blocks and everything. And I just absolutely love it. I changed out that shulker box too. And we've got a ton of glass bottles in there. Ton, ton, ton. But I I think this really, what it really, really did need, and I did add some bushes as well too. Some bushes. I really, really think this looks fantastic now because you're looking at just all the different kind of honey elements in here. And it really, really just kind of unifies it thematically. I still need to do this side. I haven't been making more shears. I've been busy doing all these other projects lately, so I haven't really thought of it. But I really, really think that... that whoa. Wow. Whoa. What, what was that? Was that you? Was that you? I think that was that guy. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've, I've just got a lot of, uh, you know other blocks tied in here now and i really really think that this looks absolutely fantastic um i don't know why this happened here uh, unfortunately this might be a chunk loading issue or something like that where it loaded on a chunk border and it was full and now i gotta wait until nighttime go in there and break the hive and reset it because unfortunately that will never fix that it will never ever fix at all and if i try to go in there obviously with a little honey bottle and, and take the honey myself well then the bees are going to get really really mad i also had to fix this one here i had the repeaters facing in the wrong direction so the entire farm just completely broke as soon as all the uh the hives filled up <laughs> so i had to rip all those out of there as well but i'm really really loving this you guys will have to let me know what you think head down into the comments please 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 let me know what you think uh it really really does help me play that youtube algorithm game if you enjoy the content make sure that you leave some comments and leave some likes in the video it really really does help me a lot so now we're just left to try to figure out exactly what we want to do over here in terms of a building design and then we can get all of our farmers back over here i think we'll have a couple of other villager types too but i'm not 100 percent sure i need to figure out exactly how much space the farmers are going to take up but i like so the way that i have this little like almost like tent kind of thing. Like, I mean, you think about a big farmer's market, you just have like a whole bunch of stalls that you go to, like a whole bunch of different vendors that you visit. So that's kind of the theme that I want to go for here. I'm just going to have to, you know, adapt it Minecraft style. Cause I mean, I've got it pretty well lit up over here. You can see all these patches with glowstone. We're also adding in these, these nice soul lanterns. I really, really think that adding these kind of you know, nice, cool colors in here really contrasts against all these nice warm colors from the podzel and everything. So I really, really think that that's going to look really, really great. So those are definitely, I'm pretty sure, going to stay. Also, I'm really, really, really frustrated at you, Mo Yang. I'm really, really frustrated because, I mean, we didn't get candles when 1.17 launched. But 1.17.2, I believe it is, is out. And look at, we got candles, guys. We have candles so now we can do lots of candly things it's so amazing i'm so so happy to have candles and so immediately um i watch a lot of hermit craft and something that i saw like corrales and tango and other people do was do like the upside down lightning rod this if i can uh, if i can get it whipped in here really quick you know the upside down lightning rod so you put it on the bloop on your side of a block like this and then you put the candle on top of it except for you can't in bedrock edition this is so frustrating why can you not do that and then to add insult to injury i wanted to do some like 
like candelabras with the spruce fences or something like that. And you can't put them on top of fences either. Why can you not put these stupid candles on top of anything? Ah, like, it's so frustrating. Why? I really, really hate it. I really, really do. I love the candles. I think they're a fantastic addition to the game. But, I mean, like, I mean, seriously, like, why can I not put them on top of anything? So that's why we ended up going with this design over here. I do love the the, the kind of cooler colors, and that's why I went with blue, because I wanted something that was going to be nice and cool, and it was going to contrast really, really well against everything we've got going on over here. But like I said, that's what this area is going to look like over here. We're going to have a lot of different market stalls. We're going to have a lot of different vendors in the area over here where, you know, they can just come over here and go to this vendor, go to this vendor, go to this vendor, and pick up whatever you want to buy. So let me get some work done here. I'm going to test out a couple more concepts, and then hopefully by the time I return, I will be moving some zombie villagers into their forever homes so they can get cured up. I've got a few somewhere in here. Where are you? Somewhere in here. I've got them. They're not even over here. Never mind. <laughs> I've got some golden apples and some weakness potions somewhere, but let me get some work done. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hi, Jelly. <gasps> I've got a Jelly. Hello, Jelly. Oh, I... Didn't need to give you that, but here, come on, come with me. Uh, is she coming? Yeah, she's coming. Oh, and I'm starving. Oh my god, I think it was me walking over the leaves. Oh, I thought that was a creeper. Oh, she's purring. M mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Where's the other one? There's a third one somewhere and he's missing. Where did he go? Oh, he's back here. He's trying to take that boat and trying to trying to leave by water. No, don't draw. Oh, no. No, he villagers. No, no, they're going in the water too. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. You guys can do this. I believe in you. Give me my golden apples. I forgot that you got to put the stupid... Oh, God. Okay. This should... Get them all. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, the sun's starting to creep up over the horizon. Ugh. This is such a process. Okay, well, you're... You're a cartographer? Ow. <laughs> Every time I try to fly toward the camera, I always run into stuff. Well, welcome back, everybody. It's so, so good to have you here. Thank you so, so much for checking out the video. By the way, if you are here, I love your beautiful face. Uh, and I really, really appreciate you taking the time to check out the video today. We added a wall. There is a wall. Look, you're done. Thank you. Uh, all the way, almost all the way. I haven't added it all the way around the entire island yet. But there's a couple of reasons why. Number one, I don't want to do torch spam and I don't want to do any more of the buried leaves kind of thing because I've done that like all over the place and like I like it and I think it blends in relatively well, but I don't think it looks good enough to, you know, justify putting any other kinds of lights like on the sand on the beaches and stuff like there's just not enough light down here on the beaches and there's just I just don't want to add it in. Uh, because I want, you know, more of the natural look of the terrain to come through without the torch spam and without adding a bunch of lights and stuff. And obviously we're going to add more of these light poles and stuff in here. Are you? Oh, I thought that one was done. We've just got to finish closing off the wall around the front here. But of course, I still have a lot more villagers to put in. I also added this guy over here. You'll notice I have removed my little uh, villager unloading platform. And I added this guy in here, just kind of this little overhang where I added in some, you know, a little bit of dripstone, some little bits of uh, of uh, hanging roots and stuff down just underneath a little overhang. I just kind of thought it could do this little 
kind of cliff thing that overhangs the ocean and this can maybe be our landing platform when we come in there is going to be an entrance to the market right here but i'm going to put some kind of door or gate or something in there because i don't want it to just be open i don't want mobs to be able to get into this thing at all so yeah we may have some mobs spawn they may be on the exterior of the island we're going to get rid of all the torches we're still going to leave stuff like this here or i may cover that up with some carpet or something like that you know, but we even have like this little area over here. And I think I am going to build a dock off of this thing. Not anytime immediately, but I think it's definitely something that is going to happen. And I think we'll, we'll use a lot of, uh, of oxidized copper, I think in that build. Cause I really just kind of love the idea of that. But I just, I'm really, really loving the way that this farmer's market is coming together. Uh, I love that we've got all of our farmers over here now. So there are 15 of them total and i love these roofs too like these are all waxed now all these are all set in the in the patterns that i want them you know and just kind of a, a, a mostly exposed and weathered copper but you know a few are fully oxidized no just completely bare copper though i just don't think it looks as good over here and there's already enough brown going on with the podzol so i didn't want to use the regular copper over here because i mean you just kind of see it's just too much it's just too much. Also, fun bedrock bug. Uh, leaves underneath copper blocks in a hole like this uh, don't render when you can see it through a path block. I don't know if that's a bug or not, but I mean, it's it's bedrock. So what do you want? Well, this project has continued to frustrate me as I have continued it. Welcome back, everyone. I am flying up over the island here and uh, trying to... <laughs> avoid these horrible stutters I keep getting over here. I think that may be because there are a few more entities over here. I just had to uh, adopt out all the cats I had. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what happened to them. They all got adopted out by loving and responsible owners. But uh, I've got a lot of villagers here, as you can, of course, see here. And we've got probably the biggest chest monster I have ever had in the game. I mean, this is just absolutely obscene how much stuff I've got going on over here, but I've just never been happy with a build palette over here at this, uh, at, at, at this little island over here. Like I knew I wanted to convert it into a farmer's market, but something about just like locking the villagers away into these little market stalls, like the one behind me here where our, was that a toolsmith in there? Like it just doesn't smack right to me. Like it just doesn't feel like it's gonna be the best choice. So I don't want to do this. I don't I, I don't want to do this kind of thing. So what I'm thinking of doing instead, and you may have noticed on the flyover that we've got these walls kind of all over the place on the island here. We've got these walls. And what I'm going to do is we're going to segment this out into different segments. And then we're going to be putting different types of villagers in different segments. So say we have one area that is going to be like our little archery range. We're going to have one area that's going to be a farm where we're going to have all of our little farmers and all of their composters, all of their workstations and stuff that they can get to. Will all of these be closed off from each other? No, because in Bedrock Edition, you have to have a place for your villagers to be able to sleep. And that is why we built this guy down here please ignore the rail track i'm going to show you guys my super awesome never fails is the most efficient thing ever uh villager conversion system but uh yeah we decided to build this guy down here and i'm going to come through here i haven't done it yet but if you guys have seen the hallway that leads over to my boo i love that like i got this tinted glass here but you can kind of just hear stuff getting sucked on the bubbles out there out there all the time oh something's trying to steal my bed down here uh, but i'm going to go through here we're going to strip all these logs on the floor uh, this is another design this was something i saw stress monster do in her season six base in her ice castle and i was like i really really love that and i really want to do that uh, so i am going to go ahead and do that down here we may also like maybe just kind of leave like all of the one direction stripped and and not the others because then it'll kind of pop a little bit more but i don't know how much i really like that uh to be honest so i've got to continue decorating we've got a lot more stuff that's got to get finished down here uh and everything but i've got villagers down here you can see it we've got some librarians that have recently been cured uh, how about a one emerald mending book for you or how about a oh that's also a mending i uh, one it I got like three mending guys, a one emerald unbreaking guy. There are a couple that are a little bit more than an emerald, a riptide three guy, which I just, for whatever reason, remembered that I didn't have a riptide three guy over in my other base area over there. 
I think we're going to leave these actual posts and pillars in here, though. I don't think I'm going to rip these out of here. I kind of like those. And of course, we used calcite for the ceiling, but I kind of want to do some recesses. I think even with adding the trap doors up here, a full block was a little bit too much. Maybe I could do a slabby jab, but... I think a plank slabby jab is not really going to fit. Well, maybe it will with the stripped floor, though. I don't really know what this is going to... Let me finish stripping the floor. I want to see what this is going to look like now. I'll tell you, the real kind of problem that you run into here is that this doesn't match this even when you strip it. Like, these are spruce planks. Those are spruce logs, but it doesn't look right whenever it... Uh, I'm hungry. Whenever it looks like this, it, it just it doesn't match it. So I'm wondering if there might be a better type of log that we could bring in here that stripped or otherwise might look better and might match better with this. Maybe we could get some dark oak or something like that in here, something that's going to kind of be a little bit more of a, we either have to heighten the contrast or we have to kind of try to nullify it. That to me is just like too, it's too close. And also like this stutter is maddening. And this has got to be something within Minecraft itself because I'm looking at my computer and my computer's doing fine. But I think the problem is, is that there's just so many entities over here and all of these entities are searching for workstations and searching for beds all the time. And there's just so many villagers I've got over here now that it's getting a little bit ridiculous. I'm really, really hoping that when we kind of unleash these guys, they will uh, be able to maybe find where they're trying to go and what they're trying to do a little bit better. But you can kind of see here, this is what we're going to have design wise on the surface because we don't just want all these massive open areas of course we want to have some covered areas and i mean you think about a farmer's market you often have like your little awnings or your little tents or whatever and i feel like the best thing that we can do for that is of course to use copper blocks <laughs> i why not right but hello mookie it's mookie it's my girlfriend's cat um yeah but uh i mean seriously I think this looks pretty awesome. Uh, we're going to dot a few more of these, like some of these places where some of these already exist. We're going to do smaller ones than that. That's only as big as it is to cover over the stairwell. We're going to have another one over here to cover over the other stairwell, of course, because we have two different entrances down into the bunker down below. We've got some blue lanterns in here, and we've also hidden some lights in here behind stair blocks that are embedded in the wall. I think this does look better as a stripped floor. I really, really do like the stripped aesthetic, I'm just not feeling slams. I'm not feeling trapdoors. I'm not feeling really anything so far yet on the ceiling. So if you guys have any cool ideas and I don't think of any by then, please drop them down in the comments below. We could also just continue the wall texture across. Since it is calcite on the ceiling, maybe the wall texture with these deep slate tiles and things would look pretty good going across the ceiling. And like I said, I think we want to put some recesses in there. I even think we even with half slams, I just don't think it's going to pop enough. I think it's going to look a little bit too just flat. I want there to be some depth. I want there to be some texture here uh, in order to in, in order to make this look good. But I think this is something I am finally, finally happy with. We're going to have all of our villagers during the nighttime. We're going to have tons and tons and tons of beds down here. I just haven't put any of them down yet. But I got like a whole uh, shulker box full of beds just like right here, ready to rock and roll. I've also got all of these shulker boxes on me for some reason. Put those in there. Jeez. But yeah, we've already got some beds over here. It's going to be a multicolored affair. I don't care. <laughs> it will be what it is. All the villagers, I do have to remember that, all the villagers that are already in their bunk style housing already have access to beds. Like all these guys, these guys already have their beds in there with them. So we just need to get beds for all of these guys here. And then, of course, all of our librarians and stuff that are downstairs. I do want to get a few more villager types over here. We've got our Fletchers. We've only got eight Fletchers. There are 15 different arrow types, but I don't have all of them yet. And we've got some weaponsmiths, we've got some armorers, we've got some toolsmiths, we've got, of course, our farmers and that one random cartographer that I still have. We're probably just going to hang on to him. I don't think there's any reason to ever really get rid of him. And plus, I mean, you can buy super cheap item frames from him. So, I mean, it's something. But I think I looked through, like, a lot of their, uh, you know things if you get them if you get a lot of cartographers yeah basically you can get a bunch of banner patterns that's all they unlock at master level like most of them just do banner patterns so fine i 
I, I guess the only things I'm not going to have over here is I'm not going to have things like butchers or shepherds or fishermen. Uh, they're all relatively useless. I don't need them. I don't ever trade with them. And, you know, I would only want them if I wanted a completionist kind of market, which I don't. I just want a market that is going to be functional. And then I want it to kind of have a nice aesthetics as well once I get the function in place. And I am going to get some clerics over here as well. Uh, I'm not going to bring stonemasons over here, though, because I do have my entire stonemason trading hall, which is way down in that direction underground. And that serves all of my purposes just perfectly fine. But I want to show... <laughs> I want to show you guys the mess that I had for converting villagers. Because if you guys remember, and uh, I love this little alcove. I just slapped this guy in here. I just thought it would be kind of nice to have like a little overhang. And hey, it gives something for glow squid to spawn in. And I like seeing the glow squid down under the water. So that's also really, really nice. But I had that little box over here. And I was painstakingly converting them to zombies. And then converting them back. And then rowing them over here in boats. And, or no, I wasn't even converting them to zombies. It was such a pain. Regardless, I was rowing them over here in boats, and that's just not how you want to handle that kind of thing. So I built this rail line that goes all the way over to here. And we <laughs> we have Lionel Hutz, we have Lyle Landley, and we have Troy McClure, all, of course, Phil Hartman characters from The Simpsons. Uh, they are our zombie villager conversion system. So we have five stops along this little chain here. And I know, I know, listen, please do not yell at me and tell me how terrible. I, I got hit by a trident, I feel like. Was that you? Got an axolotl playing dead down here because it's trying to wreck these guys. Get him. Get him, little guy. I already got that achievement, though, so I can't get it again. Uh-oh. -uh, poor guy. He's uh, playing dead again. At any rate, uh, we've got this whole thing set up here. And then, basically, when power rails aren't powered, they stop on a dime when they hit these things. So, you know, none of the powered rails are powered right now. So, they would get in here, and then these guys will knock them out, and they will convert them. And since they can't bounce out of the wall this way, they'll bounce right back into the mine carts. It's been working pretty uh, pretty flawlessly since I added this wall here. The wall was kind of the last key that I needed to make it work. And then, basically, yeah, they go on a long little rail journey. Long little rail journey. It would help if I took off. <laughs> You know, they come all the way over here and then they end up going down these, uh, you know, this makeshift little ramp here and they go into this little loop here. You'll see that this is not connected to anything. So once they come off of this rail line, they're just stuck on this loop forever. So this is where our zombies stay. And then they get smashed with a weakness potion. They get smacked with some golden apples. And then once they cure, I connect that up to this loop over here. And you can see, again, this loop is not connected to anything. So once they get over there, then they just circle around in this area over here in perpetuity. And this, look at how tired this guy is. He's like, can you please just let me go to sleep? I will sell you as many Riptide books as you want. Just please let me go to sleep. Oh. I am loving this build. I think this is going to be really, really great. The only real thing I guess I still have to figure out is can uh, villagers get into beds that are elevated? Because if I put all the beds, I mean, granted, like none of these tracks are going to be here in the middle. All this is going to be gone. I think we're going to have some kind of divider in the middle of the room, not a full wall, but something like we need to segment this room up. It's a little bit too big and we just kind of need to do more stuff to kind of break it up a little bit. So we'll remove all this stuff from here. I've got the little li librarian's corner over here. All six of the lecterns for the librarians are over here. I wonder if this guy is going to be able to reach this too. That's kind of another question that I have because th this is Minecraft and you never, never can tell. But yeah, uh, you guys are just definitely going to have to let me know what you think of this build down in the comments. Make sure uh, if you're new, please leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, hey, you can ring that bell if you want to be notified whenever I release a new content. I think we are going to call it there. I've got a lot more work to do before this project is going to be realized. And then I still have to work on that custom tree over on the B Island. Uh, I just had not gotten a chance to look at that yet because uh, that's just kind of life these days. 
but I love this build. I think this looks absolutely fantastic and it's coming together really, really well. And I'm gonna keep this green up here. We're not gonna turn that into Podzol because I want that contrast between what we've got up here and then that little space that we have down here. I just think it looks way, way better to kind of keep that little contrast. We're gonna get more bees outside there, more flowers and things like that. And we're gonna, again, get more of these copper awnings. We're gonna get all of these hard set stalls that are in here ripped out of here. And we're gonna get just kind of little themed areas in here for all of our villagers to run around in. And then, I mean, the it's gonna take me hours to put away this chest monster. This, I still have all the stuff over on the bridge too. It's not rendering in because I'm not close enough to it. I still have all the stuff on the bridge too. And there's like another 15 or 16 shulker boxes over there. Ah, guys, I just don't even know. So, so much work left to do. I mean, I just couldn't get these buildings to look aesthetically the way that I wanted to. I think these look way better than my initial iterations way back in the beginning of the video, but even still, I'm just not set on buildings. I just didn't want hard buildings because no matter what in Minecraft, you can't make something look like a tent or like just like a little awning. So we're just going to put little roofs on fences that's all we're going to do like with the copper that we've got over there and we're just going to have some awnings some decorative stuff like for the fletchers we're going to have target blocks hay bales and i mean i really wish i could do some armor stands holding some bows and arrows maybe we can do them holding bows but it's going to be bedrock edition style so it'll look it, like whatever it looks like you know and then these guys are just gonna have free reign of the island and there will be a big wall all the way around keeping baddies out i've also this is another thing before we go that i've also been doing here a lot of this island now has higher sea walls as well. So not only are we kind of protected from the sea, but uh, mobs can't get up in certain places, uh, you know, to be able to get in here. Of course they can over here, but I've been doing it in different areas, kind of raising up the sea wall. So mobs are gonna have a tougher time getting up to where the wall is anyway. And then the kind of funny thing is, is my iron golems that spawned over here, they all spawned on the outside of the perimeter. So I'm gonna just leave them here. I mean, if they die, they die. If they respawn inside, they respawn inside, whatever. But yeah, I'm just gonna kind of leave them out here and just kind of let them do, yeah, you gonna do your thing, guy? Hmm? Yeah, he's, he's, he's like, all right, fine. But yeah, you guys, again, will have to let me know what you think about like the little plan here with the little themed areas that we're gonna have. I think it's gonna look absolutely spectacular. I can't wait to finish this up. So next episode, by the time we get started, I'm gonna show you the finished island, what this bad boy is gonna look like when we get everything all wrapped up. Until then, I have been Nick. You are amazing. Don't forget to take some time today to be kind to somebody. Just love yourself. Love the people in your life that make a good and positive difference, even if they fly and smack their heads into a wall. You are amazing, and I love you so much for taking time to check out the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Triton Craft. Bye!